Hey everyone, welcome back to yet another episode of Mistral AI. So previous episode, we talked about how to go into the console of Mistral AI to create this coding agent and give us an API ID so that we can have developer access. And then we said that we go to our notebook and we can create this class object so that we can make the API call with the history and we made an access. And we have an example here to have the bot to write some code for us. Now this is all good, but I wanna have this in an actual chatbot. So we're gonna do this episode is walk you through the process of how to send up an app so that I can embed this into some sort of user interface. So we're gonna do that in a streamlit app using hugging face. So this is the user interface. And as you can see, it's fairly simple. There's a main chat window on the left-hand side. You can write some instruction menu, write some examples. Uh, for example, I can just use the first example here. Say, write a simple Hello World Flask app for me. And then it will make an API call to the Mistral AI and use the agent that I stood up. And the agent will be able to write that code for me. And as you can see here, that's how the code is written. I'm able to basically have this instruction here in a user interface. So let's go into files and let's walk through the design. First things first, you'll need the uh, requirements. This will list out the packages. For example, Mistral AI, obviously you need that. Next one is a front end, you'll need stream width. And that's really it. The next thing you need is some sort of app.py so that you can design a front end. Now, first thing we need is this chatbot class object. As we discussed in the previous episode, the really unique here is to manage the history. Once that's defined, this is all set. You can then move on to the front end design. Front end design is fairly simple. You have a sidebar, which you can use markdown file to write out a couple of instruction manuals, your name, your website, things like that. And after that, the special thing here is you use some sort of session state to manage your messages. And the reason I'm doing that is because I want to be able to grow my message as the conversation continues. Now, so for example, here, line 109, you see that I'm appending a system message. And line 110, I'm appending user message, right? So the user prompt, I want to be able to save that. Now, once I save in session state, that allows me to manage the chat history. I'm sending a copy of that into the history object after this chatbot is instantiated. And then as discussed before, if I want to make an API call, I got to stick the agent ID in there and input the prompt as a input variable. And then I'm all set. That's literally it. So. With this user interface being defined, now I can go back to the app. This takes us to the front end. It's an app hosted on Hugging Face using Streamlit library uh, to design the user interface. And the backend API call is on Mistral AI. So I can say, write a Python function for me to take a big string and isolate the Python code. Let me correct the typo here. And then I say the string for the input argument may look like the following. And then I want to go to the notebook to grab this giant output from the previous exercise. And then literally I'm copy paste in there. And then let's see if this is able to give us the correct function to isolate this Python script. So here we successfully come up with this function from Mistral AI and uh, basically using some sort of pattern, I believe this is using regex, uh, to be able to search everything that's in here to grab it, and then we're able to basically output something. Now, this is all good, but I want to take it one step further. I want to be able to save as a Python script. Uh, so perhaps I can execute it, right? Do something fancy like that, because I want to build my agent. So I want to be able to update this function just a little bit. 
So I'm literally just going to directly say it. I like it, but I want the function to save the isolated Python code in a .py script locally. Update the above function for me. So let's see if we can successfully come up with a function like that. While we're waiting, uh, let's take a look at this code a little bit. I don't think we are too far off because uh, this is able to successfully isolate the Python code. And the way I see it, uh, we can literally just add something here that says, hey, we are saving a Python code. So it's going to look like with something open, write something. So let's see if that can be done. And literally, that's exactly what I just said. So let's grab that function and then let's go back to our notebook. Let's paste our function here and let's see if we can make this work. Uh, now, this example, we don't need that. We're going to have our own example. Uh, so we're going to define this function and let's test it out. So we're going to grab this function put it here, and then I'm going to grab this response uh, because this response is the response I want to use. So let's input in there as an input variable. Uh, so input string is the first input variable. I'm going to say input string is response. And then file path, we can say hello world.py. And that's it. So let's run that, see if we can have something in our folder. And there you go, hello world.py is created in there. And for the sake of transparency, I'm going to refresh. There's no other files in there other than the folder sample data and the hello world.py script. Uh, so I'm going to give a different name just to demonstrate to you guys that I did not create that on the spot or, or beforehand. So I'm going to run that again. I'm going to refresh. As you see here, pop out another .py script. So I'm going to open that just to examine this a little bit. I think we have everything here. That's a hello world. And this code looks exactly like uh, what we have here in the response that's coming out of this Mistral AI API call to that coding agent. And we are almost there. So with that being said, hang tight, come back in part three, and we're gonna design an agent using Mistral AI. Thank you for watching, subscribe and like.